quality, service, atmosphere. You're next in the chair. Feel at home in the barbershop. G. Bush offers a fresh cut on sports. The barbershop isn't just grooming for guys. It's culture. It's lifestyle. It's sports. And it's now the barbershop is giving the sports scene a sheer shave and shine. Join the makeover now. Follow Garrett Bush at GBush91 on Twitter. What's up, man? It's your boy G. Bush back again. And once again, hit that subscribe button. Back with another joint. This time, it's on the NBA. If you're not living and you on Mars, if you're doing something, if you're running around on Father's Day, just go ahead and say happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there supporting the strong men that are actually out there taking care of their families, actually out here doing what they're supposed to do, taking care of their children, and actually out there being real dads, man. And ain't it about all the money and stuff. It's about spending that quality time. But this ain't a PSA. You came here to get a recap. You came here to get some stuff about your sports, and we're going to do that. If you didn't know, now you know. LeBron James... He right back in the mix. He's right back into the contention. He, he he was out of the playoffs this year. A lot of people saying it ain't the same without LeBron James. It's not the same without him being out there doing his thing, doing his numbers. And, and it's just not the same. So now we got a situation in which he goes out. The Lakers pull off the trade that almost happened at the trade deadline. They go out and get Anthony Davis. We all knew it was coming. We just know, didn't know what a matter of time it was going to be. But this is a big situation because think about it. When Clay Thompson goes down, he has an ACL surgery. So he has an AC, ACL, and, and I've torn both of my ACLs in my left knee and my right knee. And it's eight months minimum just to come back to do activities. That has nothing to do with the rehab time. That has nothing to do with getting your feet under you, your, your rehab, your, your, your explosiveness back. So Clay Thompson is not going to be back to 100%, at least to like after the All-Star break, at least. And then he's still going to have to get a conditioning together. Kevin Durant is finished, period, for like next year, for all intents and purposes. For all, he's done. So now what you look at is a balance of power shifting. LeBron James went from looking like he got a team full of Lonzo Balls and all different kind of people to now he has an opportunity to get Anthony Davis. And now with that balance of, uh, a balance of power shifting, who's here to stop him? Who's there to really put their foot down and actually go toe-to-toe -to -toe with LeBron? I answer the question, nobody. Kevin Durant, for a very small period of time, that during the playoffs in the end of last year, was the best player, in my opinion, in the league. He was playing at that high of a level. And you saw what Kevin Durant was able to do when he was, go he was going against LeBron and, and the levels of shot he was hitting. He was unguardable. And so for that small period of time, Kevin Durant was a person that was not able to be guarded. Now you look at a situation where who's standing in his way? Now the Lakers go get Anthony Davis. Now the Lakers have two bona fide top five dudes two of them what are we talking about here what are we talking about lebron is now in contention to start running off titles again i didn't think they were gonna have that situation together i didn't think that they was gonna be able to put it together because i was always gonna lean on the side of saying that the golden state warriors was always gonna have the leg up because they had steph they had Clay, they had Dre, they had uh, uh, Steve Kerr, they had, and, and the top piece was Durant. So now when you look at Durant being out, you look at Clay Thompson being out, and you left with Draymond Green, and you left with Steph, if this was NBA Jams, they, they would be the worst two people that you could pick on NBA Jam. Clay, they would be the worst two-man team you could pick on there. So now LeBron is not scared of Denver. He ain't scared of Portland. He ain't scared of Dallas. He's definitely not scared of the Spurs. The Clippers, even if they get Kawhi, he's not scared about none of those teams out there. He's right back in contention. He's right back doing what he does best out there. This is a situation where the league, it, 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 it's, 
it's going to be a lot of people out there frustrated at this move. And, and when we get to the next blog, we're going to break down why everybody's going to be frustrated because the, the draft pick that really made this possible, the pick that really made this situation possible was the New Orleans Horn, or New, or, or the, excuse me, the Lakers getting the fourth overall pick. That fourth overall pick made it possible for them to go out and be able to trade that pick with the Pelicans to, to sweeten the deal where they were able to keep Kyle Kuzma in that deal and just be able to trade the fourth pick. And the Pelicans was like, okay, we'll take that. So the Lakers being able to jump up and get that fourth pick and leapfrog the, the, the Cavs, being able to jump up and leapfrog a bunch of other teams that they had a better record than, it, it just made this trade possible. It just made it possible. Anthony Davis was going to walk regardless, but at the end of the day, it goes to show you the way the lottery structure is so um, finicky. It's just hit or miss. You know, if you're a Knicks fan, you're like, man, this is crazy. Like, we can't catch a break. We we can't even get Zion. Like, we had to, we, we, we tanked us that way we were supposed to. We took the L's that we were supposed to, and we don't get, we don't get the first pick. So now we stuck with, you know, we might get to, um, um, Barrett, but but what is that really doing for us? Nothing. So it, it things happen like this, just like that. I try to talk to people all the time, and, and, and I tell them about fans always saying stuff about windows. All oh, the windows open. The windows are so open. Like uh, it, the window for teams so open, I feel a draft coming in. Come on, man. Windows is the most finicky thing in the world. You're a contender until you're not. Case in point. Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City Thunder, they had Westbrook, Harden, Durant, three MVPs. Not to mention, they had a young Serge Ibaka. Come on. What happened? Disperse. No titles. No titles. So the question is for the Lakers moving forward, how do you fill out a roster when you only have a couple people under contract? And some people are pointing that to like, oh, well, they're not going to be able to put a team on the floor. We ain't worried about that. LeBron, them, they not going to be able to put a team on the floor because of cap restraints. No, 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 no. Just go back and look what happened in Cleveland. Just go look at what happened in Miami. LeBron has always been able to get veteran minimum guys to come in and take less money to be able to try to chase a ring. It happens all the time. It just does. And if you look at it, if they're able to get a Kimball Walker, if they're able to get anybody of that consequence, it's a wrap. I'm penciling them in. I'm putting their name in a hat. Ain't nobody know what's beating them. Especially it, 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 with the Warriors and their injury situation looking like right now. I like the Denver Nuggets. I like them. I like their squad. I like what they, they do. They don't really have a... A, a, a crazy second option. I like Murray. Uh, you know, I like some of the, the pieces, the ancillary. I mean, Millsap is cool, but you actually think that in a seven game series, you got LeBron James and, and, and Anthony Davis. You actually think that's striking fear into them in a seven game series. I'm never, I'm never putting no money on Damian Lillard ever again. After I seen the way that, that, that Stephen Clay Thompson disrespected that boy. He is not a superstar. That dude is a, a, a wolf in sheep's clothing. He is placebo. Oh, my gosh. He is so fool's gold. Dame Dollar. Man, you got embarrassed in the series, bro. You out here looking. You a paper champion. I ain't scared. Of, you think LeBron's scared of that dude? Stop it. And even when, it, even if Clay and, 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 and Durant come back, how do we even know they're going to be the same type people? We don't. The East is 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 wide open, and especially if Kawhi Leonard go out to, to the Clippers. Because contrary to popular league, Kawhi Leonard go out to the Clippers, I mean, they might be a fourth seed. I mean, him that don't move the needle for me. Oh, Kawhi Leonard out there. That don't move the needle. But he's smart. He might want to go stay in Toronto, to be truthful, because, you know, they got that young boy. I can't even pronounce his name with an O. He got hurt, and he was a dude that was Dean LeBron up something fictitious like in in, in the um, Eastern Conference Finals a couple a couple years ago when he was Cleveland. They were saying that dude was gonna be the dude, but Siakam actually turned out to be that guy, and they got him coming back. 
flexibility. Uh, you know, they got some young dudes. They play cohesive. Serge Ibaka look like he want to be something, do something with his life. So, I, in, in short, man, I think it's it's going to be a, a, a Lakers season. I think they'll put a roster together, and I think they're going to they're gonna be prepared with favors right now to pencil them in. But as always, you know, when they subscribe to the channel, I love what we're doing, and you know what the gear looking like. Look out for it coming soon. It'll be on the Shopify, red, blue, all the above. You know what it is. It's a barbershop. Peace. You've been locked in with G. Bush in the Barbershop. Feel free to take a look at some of our other videos linked here and here. And also subscribe to our channel so you never miss any of our updated content coming out regularly. Thanks again for listening.